Hello and welcome to another Python tutorial by LearnPythonTutorial.com. Today we're going to talk about how Python variables reference a Python object. Um, it's pretty straightforward. We've discussed this in the previous two tutorials that a variable references an object and that object contains a value, the type information, and a reference counter. So we want to go a little bit deeper here at LearnPythonTutorial.com and uh, help you understand this a little bit better. So let's make a variable. I got my Python interpreter open. We're going to do a equals 2. All right. So a equals 2. What is going on here? a is referencing an object that contains the value of 2. I drew a little diagram here for you to see to better understand it. Variable is a and it's referencing an object that contains 2. It's pretty simple and straightforward with this. Now what happens if we <coughs> create another um, variable that's equal to 2? Now what happens here? A is referencing 2, an object that contains 2. B is also referencing the same object that contains 2. It's not creating another object. So let's go ahead and look at a diagram of this. A is referencing the object of 2 and B is referencing that same object, okay? Now, what happens if we start over here? Oops, wrong thing, sorry. Uh, if we start over here, and we'll come clear that out, and we're going to say A is equal to 2, and B is equal to A, so A is 2, B is 2, okay? So now what we did was, a is referencing 2, an object that contains 2, and B is referencing the same object, not the, um, not A. So it's not going from B to A to 2, it's actually going B to the object of 2. To better understand this, look at my other awesome diagram I drew for you. Alright, so it's the same as the above diagram that we just looked at. If you look at them, they're the same exact thing. So A is referencing 2, and B is also referencing 2. Um, let's go ahead and look at reassigning a variable. So if I have A equal to 2, B equal to 2, alright, A is equal to 2, B is equal to 2, alright, what happens if I assign uh, B to equal 3. All right, B equals 3. A is still going to um, reference 2, and B is now going to reference 3. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Another diagram for you guys. Um, a is referencing 2, B is referencing 3. Pretty simple, right? Um, let's look at another scenario here a is equal to 2 b is equal to a so if we go a is 2 b is 2 what happens if we reassign a to equal 3 what do you think is going to happen let's just call a so you see it equals 3 a was pointing to 2 b was pointing to a so what happens here well what actually happens is um, A no longer point or references the object of 2. It now um, uh, references, references the object that contains 3. And B is still pointing to the object that contains 2. Let's take another look at one of my awesome diagrams. And this is what happens. A points to 3 and B points to 2. So that's basically how referencing works in Python. All right. When you uh, assign a variable a variable, it actually never points to the variable. It points to the object of that variable. Okay. Um, when you reassign a variable, it just simply goes and references another object. So um, that's pretty straightforward right there. Now, if you want to play around and get a little deeper in your code and figure out, you know, what's going on here, is there a way for me to reference uh, the memory or the object 
to see if it's the same if it's using the same exact object yes there is actually there's a built-in function called ID so let's take a look at that let me clear my screen here we're gonna make two uh, variables a is equal to 2 and B is equal to 2 now let's take a look at let's just call them so you can see a and B are equal to 2 now let's take a look at ID ID of a is this integer here and this is actually the memory space location of the underlying C language C is Python's built on top of C so it's actually pointing to the C's memory location okay don't let that confuse you just it's a reference it's referencing a mem an object a memory spot so let's do ID um, with B in it and look at it well if we look they're pretty close to being the same but for me that's that's just too difficult to compare to see if they're actually the same so let's do ID a is equal equal that means they are the same ID B hit return I get true all right cool let's take another look at this let's make uh, C equal to 3 okay now let's try this again let's see what we'll call C so you see it now let's try to see what ID of C is pointing to the reference ID well this doesn't look the same I don't think so let's find out let's do ID a is equal equal to ID of C and we return we get a false okay so they're not pointing to the same object they're not referencing the same object because the memory space is different the location of the memory is different as you can see the numbers are actually different and they don't equal here it's false okay that's pretty straightforward how to check the ID of the memory location now will you ever use this in practice probably not but it's an awesome way to understand how the underlying workings of Python works and how objects move around and variables don't hold any information so let's just review this one more time this number right here points to a location of memory in your computer okay when we have the same object like a is equal to 2 and b is equal to 2 a and b are actually the same memory location because it's the same object okay so we even tested it here we said is a is a equal to b the id yes it is true then we made c uh we signed c to 3 and is c referencing the same block of memory or location of memory we went down here and we tried it out and we noticed the numbers are different so then we decided is a equal to c or the same thing and we got back false so no they're not the same so that's our tutorial today on how python variables reference objects if you got any questions please leave a comment on youtube or on our website at learnpythontutorial.com don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in the next tutorial